here with Bozy in it. What's good, Mr. Bozy? Uh, everything good, man. Just got finished uh, working with my fighters, you know what I mean? Getting these rounds in for the upcoming fights coming up. How was the work today? Uh, good work, man. Good work. You know what I mean? Uh, it's just saw your son 12 rounds. Didn't even seem like he was tired. No, oh, that, that's what he do. He comes off the street and do that. You know what I mean? He ain't got to be running or nothing. He can do uh, uh, 12 rounds or whatever rounds I want him to do. 15 if I want him because he's not a reserve of his energy. I told him that when he was young. You know what I mean? Take your time and do it right. You know what I mean? You said off the streets? Off the streets. He's done the playing times off the streets. What I mean by off the streets, not been training and just come right in and um, do the rounds. How? Yeah, because ever since he was little, I told him that. I told uh, Farah and Pooh the same way. You know what I mean? When you boxing guys, when you just come off the street, you take your time, pick your shots. Don't waste a lot of punches. And while you're doing it, you're breathing properly. You gotta know how to breathe when you're doing it like that. And uh, they master that show. Is, is that the biggest thing in fighting, breathing? Yeah, you gotta know how to breathe, man. You gotta know how to breathe. See, you got a lot of guys that throw a lot of punches, heavy punches, and you get tired. You know what I mean? So you gotta know how to throw the punches the correct way. Don't load up on the punches. And make sure you're hitting something, shoulder, chest, anyway. You know what I mean? Because if you miss a person a lot, you get tired. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, as far as with uh, Boots and Thomas DeWarme, mm -hmm. are you looking for like the best work possible to prepare him for that, or it's more like situational sparring? No, I'm looking. I mean, I'm looking for any type of sparring when it comes to uh, Boots boxing because it's hard to get it, get sparring for him. So. Whatever uh, comes, we just take, you know what I mean? We've been asking around for certain people, and they said they would come, and a lot of people never showed up. So we had guys came in from Canada, Canada at Box Boots. Uh, I think he was here. Yeah, he was like and, he's like top 10 yeah, yeah. In, at 140. Yeah, and um, he came in, and he, he didn't last that long. Then we had the, the kid from New York. He was pretty good, you know what I mean? Uh, what's his name? Elijah... Uh, Williams, mm. pretty good uh, kid, you know what I mean? Good work. And now we had uh, the day uh, uh, Brian Norman, a uh, good fighter, pretty good fighter too. 21 and 0 with 18 knockouts, or 20, you know, with 18, yeah, 21 and 0 with 18 knockouts. Good, good, good upcoming fighter, you know what I mean? Strong. So we worked with him today, there's six with him, and six with Paul Cole. Good work today. Yo, so. Even even with a lot of guys not wanting to sparring, those are three really good sparring partners. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? I, I, whatever I, I get, I take. See, we don't prepare for just uh, 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 one particular style. Because like I always say, the, the opponent that we're supposed to be fighting could get hurt and then somebody moves in. So we've been prepared for any type, type of style that comes. That's Chris Van Heerden. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Same thing. When we fought Chris Manhattan, we weren't supposed to fight him. We were supposed to fight uh, the Army. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So what we were doing, we was working with all different styles. You know what I mean? South Paul, Orthodox, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Short, tall, you know what I mean? It doesn't make a difference. You got to prepare yourself. So we're not a fighter, South Paul. We're not a fighter, Orthodox person. As long as we get to work in, I don't care what type of fighter that we get, to get that sparring, and as long as we get to work in. I did an interview with a uh, undefeated cruiserweight, Moose and Kaysen. He talked about how hard Boots punched and said that Boots stopped him in sparring. Absolutely right. Correct. Now, if you stop in cruiserweights, not, not, not bum cruiserweights, undefeated, uh -huh. probably going to be a world champion, what is he going to do to a 147-pounder? I guess he's going to do the same thing. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know? But that, that was good work, I mean, Moose, you know what I mean? But uh, Moose is just on another level, that's all. You know what I mean? And every time he come in his spar, he said, I'm getting ready to get uh, my teaching in. You know what I mean? Moose getting ready to teach me. Same with uh, Izzy. Izzy, the same, same thing. Um, we coming out here to learn. Even though we can fight, though, but when we in there with Moose, it's another level. After he got done sparring, he walked past and said, I'm on the war path. Uh -huh. So right before a fight, his mindset just changes and just kicks it up a notch? Man, he, that's what I'm saying. That's why we try to get somebody in here and take it. You know what I mean, when he's sparring, because he still have fun in there, but he, he, he's strong. He's strong, man. He sit down with them punches, and he plays them right. You know what I mean? You know? And, um, and one uh, 
brother, sister. In one sparring session, you told him to like take something off the shots. Why? Yeah. Oh, uh, because I want him to get the work in. You know what I mean? That's why I always tell him, say, Bruce, that's why you hear me say, uh, use a lot of speed now. Mm. So you just get the you get the rounds in. So that's why I tell him, a lot of times you, you won't be able to get the rounds in if you keep on doing what he's doing. A lot of people just jumps out. You see what happened? You saw it. They, they, they get ready to get out of there. You know what I mean?